President Adam Abaro, accompanied by a high-powered delegation, Monday visited the family of the late Vice President Patra Juf at his residence in Banjulunin after the state funeral. Now, the Gambian leader expressed his condolence to the Chu family and consoled with them for the passing of a man dear so much to them. President Barrow was joined the family to pray for the departed soul to rest in eternal peace. Moses Imendi has the details in this report. The announcement of the Vice President's demise on Wednesday, January 18, was received with a shock by Gambians both home and abroad. The family and relatives of the late Vice President Juve have been equally going through a devastating period after losing someone close and very important to them. Vice President Badara Juve died of a reported illness in India but leaves behind a huge vacuum both in his family and the country thanks to his impeccable love for the nation and people. Many who have crossed paths with him in social and work environments described him as a patriot and an attitude leader who has set the bar high while serving as the Vice President of the Gambia. His daughter, in an emotional eulogy, said her father was an exemplary figure who instilled moral values into her and all her siblings. While speaking at the late Vice President's residence in Banjulinding, President Adama Barrow indicates that he enjoyed a cordial relationship with Badara Juve, who he said was intelligent and understands governance. The president encouraged the family, especially the children, to remain united and maintain the values taught by their father. It is said that you can mourn your father's death, but if you do not stop mourning, then it means you lack confidence and belief in yourself. So I can tell you, the kids to mourn your dad out of empathy and know that from now on you have to assume his role. I will also advise you not to start talks that were never heard of when your father was alive. When such happens, you often hear people begin to say when their father was alive, they were united. There were no problems, but today they are divided. I do not want to hear such things. I want you to be united and look after your home and your mother because that is what will take you forward and may help you to reach your father's level or even surpass him, maybe. According to President Barrow, Vice President Badara Juve was very keen on education and played a crucial role in the establishment of the new university under construction in Faraba. He thanked his late deputy, saying Vice President Juve has served the country with utmost commitment and dedication. We can only thank Badra for the good work he has done for this government. We took over the new university project building at an infant stage and it was very difficult but today it is about to complete and Badra is not alive to witness it. He oversaw a project aiming to ease transport challenges in the Gambia and now we expect 100 buses to arrive next month. He came up with the idea saying to me we need to find a way to bring 100 new buses to the Gambia and I told him brother we need to take things easy and he said in fact let's take an executive decision and allow me to push through with this matter. Public transport Baro further indicates that late VP Juve has left a huge void in his government and finding a successor of his quality may be very difficult. Juve, 66, was appointed vice president of the Gambia in May 2022 and was the fourth deputy to serve under Baro since 2016. He served in various positions in the government including the Minister of Higher Education before eventually becoming an education specialist at the World Bank for West and Central Africa. For iAfrica News, I am Moses Imendi.